The nurses are escalating their plight to the highest office of the Prime Minister. While the court has ruled out that they return to find an amicable and long-lasting solution, they say returning to work will not solve their grievances. Protection of nursing, of tapon nurses and nursing assistants and the respect of their rights. Painting risk allowance for all nurses and nursing assistants. Payment of nurses engaged under COVID-19 with immediate effect. The minister in the prime minister's office has vowed to forward their petition. The letter is addressed to the right honorable the prime minister and I will take it to him so that he can assemble, maybe he will assemble a subcommittee of cabinet like as he normally do to address the grievance of this nature. It's not the first time that the nurses, they come to the Prime Minister's office with different, uh, re with different demands. So. And they insist they shall not be moved nor shaken, considering how they seem to be dealing with a hostile employer. We wrote to Tepo to come to the table so that we can start to, uh, to come up with an amicable solution so that nurses can go back to work. However, we got a, a very alarming response that they are still busy now. They cannot take us, they, they cannot take us to any meeting up until the, this coming Thursday. So we think the Prime Minister, as he is the father of the nation, as he is our father too, we are looking up to him but at least from him we are expecting that he can say a word and look at our grievances and uh, maybe force the people that need to be forced to do right by us because we really need to do right by Basutu. This week Lesotho is bound to receive its first batch of the COVID-19 vaccine through the COVAX facilitation and with more than 300 nurses not budging to return to duty, a small rollout of the vaccine may be highly compromised. Rappelang Khatebe, SABC News, Masakolo Soutu.